Hi guys, welcome back to Customizing Millennium Falcon. Um, this is going to be the starting video of looking at the cockpit customization. Um, as you can see here, I've got it fixed into the uh, well, the, the section of the hole that came in issue five. So if we just pull this out, we can have a little bit of look what we're trying to achieve in this episode. So if we put that there. So the original seats that came with the miniature were these red colored, very bland, and then you can see the back seat is uh, it's not very well painted. It's just a bit of white on a bit of black. So um, if you look on the left hand side, this is what I'm trying to achieve in this episode. Um, and I will take you through how I did it. So here we go. I've got the seats out of the actual miniature now, just so we can have a closer look. Um, I've made the seat look a lot more leathery, a bit more worn, um, adding a bit of paint to the black here to make it look more metallic. Um, if we look at the original pieces, they're okay, but for a miniature of this, well, a model of this scale, you, you really want to do something a bit better. Um, so let's, let's have a look. Um, I went through quite a lot of resources um, online, looked at a few pictures, so I'll post them up now. And as you can see from most of the pictures, it's kind of like a, a leathery tan color on this main chair. You don't get a lot of um, pictures. Um, there are a few um, images of custom views of this where people have put them in 3D Max and 3D modeling stuff, but I've kind of adapted this. It's, it's kind of my own painting style and I think it fits very quite well with the actual seat. So let's go through what we need to do. So the the chair, the command chair, the pilot's chair, whatever it's called, um, we I only used two paints. Uh, firstly, it was a shade. And the secondly was the two stage dry brushing of flat tan. So I'll go through that with you now. Um, for these painting tutorials, I've got two brushes. I've got a standard dry brush. There you go, dry brush, or an old brush. You can buy dry brushes or you can use old brushes. They're basically ends which which have been used a fair amount. It's just for applying a lot of uh, paint with actually, well, you'll see as we go through anyway. Um, and this is just a standard brush. Uh, it's one of my heavy metal brushes actually from a previous video. Still very good brush. It's one of my favorite brushes and I like it a lot. Right, uh, what else we got? We've got our palette. It's useful for mixing up or just placing down paints, especially with these. Um, unlike the Games Workshop paints, they you have to kind of squeeze them out and then apply them. You can't stick your brush in there. Uh, we've got a bit of cloth just for wiping our brushes and we've got a bit of water here for just washing off any excess paint. So um, what we want to do first, we want to apply the shade. So we're using Gaines Workshop Citadel Karaberg Crimson, which is kind of a red wash. We just need to apply that to the actual chair before I start, before I almost forget. Another cool interesting piece, you'll need something to hold your miniature. So I've got a bit of a broken peg here and a bit of blue tack. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick blue tack on there and I'm going to stick the chair on there so we can paint without having to touch it. Um, when you apply a wash, you, have to, you need to be really careful because when it dries, you're going to leave finger marks if you're touching it still. Um, and the advantage is you don't really need to see most of this because the carapace doesn't allow you to see underneath the seat and pretty much most of the back. So the areas we're really going to be focusing on is the inside of the chair, around the edges and the top. So there we go. Right, so let's let's get our shade out. And don't give it, give it a shake, you don't really need to. There we go. Games Workshop shade. I mean, this is a nice brush. You can also get a thicker brush if you need to. And all we're going to do is just going to apply this to the miniature. Obviously, I'm not going to do it on cam. I'll just give you a speed up version. So, we'll so 
there we have it. Um, you can see I've applied the wash to the majority of the miniature. Um, I've left quite a bit in the recesses around the bottom of the chair and the side. Um, just need to try and make sure I can see a little bit that's loose there. Just to keep these panels as clean as we can. We just want to make sure most of the wash is in the recesses. It's never going to be perfect the way you like it. Wash can always be a bit funny like that. You have to keep kind of moving it till you get it right where you want. You don't want it to pool in large areas, otherwise the larger open areas are going to end up darker. Um, you want to just play with it as much as you can, to be honest. Uh, there we go. Now this is going to take a while to dry. Usually it takes around about 20 minutes normally. So, we'll let that dry and we'll come back and have a look at what happened. So the chair is nearly dry. Um, I want to add another coat of wash to it and just make it a slightly bit darker. You can keep adding to make it as dark as you want. Um, well, there we go. I'm going to add that. Okay, so we're back now. Um, the wash is dried on there and made that considerably more darker. So, next step would be uh, dry brushing. So, let's get our paper towel, our dry brush. So, if we take away our shade, we don't need that anymore. Right, we're going to use Molaire Flat Tan. This is an air colour, but it'll be alright comes out quite thick. Let's pour a bit into our palette. Let's get some on the brush. And wipe it off. You might see me sometimes using my hand as a palette. Which is a quicker way of determining how much paint's on there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dry brush this paint across, um, focusing on the high areas more because they'll show more wear so they'll be light, lighter. It'll probably be the seat cover and the back and we're going to try and keep all the recesses inside dark. So we'll do that now. There we have it folks. Um, I did cheat a little bit on the second one. Um, so I did apply too much paint. I thought it looked way too light. And it looks all right now. Um, I might touch up the other one to match it a bit better. Um, yeah, it was a little bit too light. So if that gets to the stage, just reapply your wash, uh, let that dry and then just go over it again. It doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Obviously, you're not going to see the behind. 
or underneath. But I think they look much better now, and the dry brushing adds that real kind of textured layer instead of it just being like a plain plastic. Cool. Okay, let's move on to the other okay. seats. We're going to move on to the back chairs now. Um, as you can see, this is... It's not the best. I'm honest. I can get you to zoom on that. As you can see, it's not the best painted. These are probably on a production line, so slap a bit of white paint on, package it up, send it out to you with your next order. And see if we can address that. So, the camera's going a bit crazy. Um, you can paint on top of this white. I don't recommend it though. Whatever paint they used, um, I tried this in the original bit, it just doesn't sit very well with the acrylic paint. So, what I did with mine was I used our Citadel Chaos Black. I undercoated that and I started from fresh. So, I will get that undercoated now and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my chair back now from spraying it. Uh, remember to spray outside when you uh, spray spray paint. You don't want the fumes to hurt you. Right, uh, you can see I, I touched it a little bit when it was wet, but we'll ignore that. <laughs> right, uh, so what we're gonna need for this next step is our standard brush, and we're gonna need a paint. So we wanna get it kind of like a leathery color, so I'm going for a, uh, Sandria Dust, it's a Citadel base color, so it's designed to go on as a, a first coat, in essence, it should just be one coat. So I'm going to apply that now to the uh, all the uh, chair bits. So up here was all white, which isn't right. It should be grey according to my reference material. Um, so we got the seat covers here and in the middle. So I'm going to apply okay. that to that. It took um, two coats on the bottom and two coats on the top to get this consistent tan colour. Um, I did make a few mistakes where the paint went onto the black, so I just got my black paint colour wherever it's gone. That's the one from the model there. You can use any type of black paint. Oh, that's come off. Let's fix that back on. Right. Yeah, just to go over any mistakes you do, you can do a really neat job. Just getting these kind of uh, bit of textured, textured bits on there. So it looks pretty cool. Right, so the next part um, is going to be a familiar step and we are going to apply our shade. So this is the same shade we use on the um, cockpit front chairs and we're going to apply this again. Okay, um, here I added flat tan again and dry brushed it across the seat covers, uh, concentrating mainly on the middle and the edges of the seat to get a good wear pattern across the entire seat. Okay, so that's dry brushed on there now and it looks very good. We're just going to cover up some of the areas which we went on. I'm going to reapply the black. Okay, that's the black reapplied. Um, the chair is obviously made of metal, so we can't really have this kind of flat black colour. Um, so I've decided what we're going to do is we're going to get our model there. We've got gun grey here, uh, similar paint. Uh, from Games Workshop would probably be bulk and metal or, or, or what's it called now? Room brass, steel, or something like that. So we'll get it onto our palette. It's quite a dark, very dark. It's probably a little bit darker than bulk and metal. Right, uh, we've got that on there. Now I'm going to do a bit of dry brushing with very wet paint. So what we're going to do, 
most of it off. Just going to apply it. It's quite hard to do with a water paint. I'm going to apply that to the miniature, all the arms and okay, such. We've, we've applied that now to the miniature. Uh, kind of just like a streaking effect, just dry brushing it across all the areas. Um, not too much, so we, we're going to uh, use a Nolan Oil shade to darken it down. But before we do that, um, if you remember, based on one of my reference pictures, the top section wasn't actually it wasn't actually black and it wasn't actually metal it was kind of like a grey colour so I've used this old Citadel foundation paint adapters battle grey uh, I believe it's a different different name of the paint now I can't remember what it is so what I'm going to do I'm going to apply this to this uh, kind of like headrest section but it's really high up so it's not really a headrest so I'll do that now Okay, that's that applied. Uh, next step is to apply uh, Null and Oil, just so we can get everything darkened down a bit. I added a bit more wash to the seat covers, black wash, just to darken them down. Just a little update there. So I'm still waiting for this to dry. So okay, I... next step, we're going to apply a light metallic colour, just to highlight the high areas of the metal. I'm using uh, model metal medium from Vallejo. You can use other very light metallic colours. Uh, Games Workshop have got a similar colour which is called Mithril Silver. I'm not sure if it's called that anymore. So we're going to do a bit of dry brushing but we're going to use our standard brush this time. So there we go. That looks great. Looks really good. Much better than it used to. But obviously when the canopy's covering the majority of the cockpit now, when we get that piece, you're not going to see too much stuff from the back. You'll be able to have a look through the windows and, well, now you're not going to be able to see all the <laughs> rubbish seeing. They look a bit better now. Um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Give us a like if you would. Um, thank you for watching. I know this has been a bit of a long one and I look forward to seeing you in the next part. So I'm not sure what we're going to cover next, but hopefully uh, we'll have a bit more of the actual cockpit then. Um, cool. Okay, see you in the next one guys.